Welcome, folks. This is Dave White sitting in for the one and only Tom O'Brien. Normally on Fridays in the 4 o'clock hour, we do the Tech Insider. And uh, we're going to do it at 3 today. And John Logan's going to pick up uh, the 4 o'clock hour. So not only is he going to uh, start the day, he's going to end the day. So I'm going to be able to uh, do both uh, uh, the uh, startup and the cleanup of our day here today at TFNN. Of course, I am Dave White. I am the technology expert at TFNN.com, or at least they tell me so. Uh, and normally we just talk technology. Of course, we're looking at uh, the market coming in the last hour. Probably a fairly decent day to start uh, looking at technology and the pullback in technology. We'll look at a few charts and some of the news out there. In fact, we've got a lot of news hitting. Uh, I didn't get a great deal of time to look at it over the last hour, but we've got Bose suing Apple about noise cancellation. We've got uh, other companies suing everybody. Uh, and uh, a lot of news coming in here right into the uh, end of the day. And of course, when we look at the S&P, which is probably the most important thing to look at. We're off 10 points on the S&P cash. I look, uh, if you listen to Tom regularly, I look at the New York Stock Exchange consolidated tape. That includes all the uh, American uh, Stock Exchange volume and all the volume on the ETFs also. And uh, for the most part, it pretty much tracks with what Tom will give you for the New York Stock Exchange, except uh, the number he gives you is just the shares traded on the floor. Uh, of course, uh, in the scheme of things, as long as you uh, do apples to apples, uh, a large enough sample that uh, they don't really diverge that much. Uh, on a normal day, like on a Wednesday, I expect we'd probably be doing about 2.3 or 2.4 billion shares right now. On a Friday, 1.9 billion shares as we speak it means we're probably going to come into about 2.3, 2 2.4 by the end of the day. So uh, it's going to be a light volume, but all Fridays in the summertime really are, and we've gotten into this rhythm of summer. Probably the bigger news tonight uh, won't be as big as the news when it happened about the Dow closing over 17,000, but it uh, looks like a probably good opportunity for the Dow to close under that. We're at uh, 16,947 as I speak, and uh, my guess is that, uh, and what I thought, this morning in my daily newsletter uh, that we would continue to fade into the close. And uh, we'll see. The last 30 minutes, I imagine, we're going to start picking up some volume. Uh, there are a few things I've been talking about in the previous hour, so I won't repeat them. So uh, let's get on with the uh, Tech Insider portion of our show and look at some of the other stocks moving out here today. Verizon, of course, had their earnings. And uh, yeah, let me pop up a quick uh, quote on Verizon. Uh, it's up 21 cents. Uh, not a real bad uh, a couple of days out here since uh, I think it had earnings on the 21st. Uh, they are monetizing uh, their mobile data plans better than any of the rivals, according to a new report from Contu uh, Consumer Intelligent Research Partners, CIRP. And uh, kind of interesting what Verizon is doing in it, both the mobile space and, of course, uh, in residential uh, Internet and cable. They did have also have kind of a notice on Monday that I thought was interesting, mostly because we had severe problems with Verizon. I'm speaking to you through Verizon's Fios, which we use in our office and I use at my residence. It is probably one of the better uh, in, uh, nationwide plans out there. Of course, uh, everybody would die to have Google Fiber and have a gigabit of data coming back and forth. Uh, but uh, Verizon is uh, not only uh, monetizing its uh, cable, they've kind of uh, gone past installing any more Fios. I think they think that there's something better out there. Uh, but in the meantime, they're going to push their single best advantage and that is having probably the most well-deployed fiber in the country in uh, the uh, uh, Verizon Fios. And they are going to do one thing that no one else really has yet. And that is normally when you have uh, Internet access at your home, you'll be able to download things very quickly, but upload them probably eh, maybe 30% as fast as you can download them. 
Uh, it, uh, they basically have some new technology that's going to be rolling out. If you have a Verizon Fios, you're going to get it before the end of the year. And that will mean that uh, if you are downloading uh, the uh, app, or I mean downloading, you're going to be able to download uh, and upload at the same rates. Uh, normally, the you know that big a difference out there slowly uploading things if you are a big uploader most people aren't and they've just uh, seen that it's probably not going to really be a, any hair off their back if they go ahead and start uh, uh, basically having a flat plan uh, for both uploads and downloads for verizon of course i use them and have their service and uh, i get about 83 uh, uh, gigabits a second gigabits that's not right megabits per second and it is uh, one of the uh, better uh, services out there of course it's very nice that between the office and I we're on the exact same network except when it's not like Monday but uh, it is uh, going to be kind of interesting out there Verizon uh, seems to be the best of the worst uh, people uh, probably the worst thing that they've done to me lately is of course purposely slow down uh, Netflix, and uh, I think uh, maybe, say maybe some of these things are more about uh, PR and uh, playing nice uh, than actually trying to get some cash out of these big internet companies that use lots of data like Netflix. But it's going to be a continuing problem and friction between uh, big data suppliers like Netflix and uh, data providers uh, like uh, Verizon, Comcast, and Time Warner. I'm sure hoping that Time Warner Comcast thing does not go through. A uh, marriage made in hell, as far as I'm concerned. Of course, uh, I, we talk a lot uh, at TFNN about health. Uh, Tom's very into uh, that. And, of course, we've got our own show on Friday here that talks about uh, living a primal lifestyle and uh, trying to get a uh, body in shape, I guess. So some of the other around the tactically modified foods. And, of course, I don't think there's anybody that hasn't either at least accidentally eaten uh, some uh, genetically modified corn from Monsanto or wheat. To, uh, I don't know what company makes the wheat. Maybe it's Monsanto, too. Uh, but a lot of genetically modified foods that are all vegetables for the most part. Uh, and no one's really gone into genetically modified animals but uh, it looks like they are asking for approval right now and waiting FDA approval uh, for genetically modified salmon and if it goes on and gets approved we're probably looking at uh, these on the plates within about two years now uh, especially with more and more people on the globe it's going to be more important uh, that we uh, get uh, more especially protein in the diets fish is probably one of the better ones out here They've done it by taking the uh, uh, thing that actually releases the growth hormone from a fish that has a big one and put it in a, the smaller version of a uh, uh, salmon. Uh, so this uh, thing is called a constant home, uh, hormone release uh, mechanism. allows it to grow more quickly. Uh, basically, it would take the same fish 31 to 36 months uh, to grow to full size and now in 16 to 18 months compared to the conventional farmed salmon. Um, and so, uh, you know, it grows in warm weather, all that kind of stuff, but doesn't, de doesn't seem to grow uh, in cold weather. So now it doesn't matter whether it's cold or warm water. Uh, these things just grow, 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 grow. And, uh, you know, if it can get to your plate in half the time, uh, it doesn't cause you to have uh, an extra eye growing in your forehead. Probably a good thing. I know a lot of people are going to be uh, uh, talking about this. And, of course, you've got uh, companies like Chipotle uh, screaming about genetically modified foods. Uh, my question is, how long are they going to be able to resist the eye of that? But uh, I don't know. Well, we got a swimming, uh, swimming salmon from a company called AquaVantage. We'll be back in just a minute.